What up everyone? Welcome back to the Heidi House. Here we are going on episode 13 of Thrifting. So it's season two. Oh my gosh, season two. All right, so to start off season two with a huge bang, we are doing something that has all the makings to be a complete disaster. Yep. And on the side, she gives exams. Ooh, bend over. Ooh, dear me. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're heading an hour away to a Goodwill clearance warehouse. Yes. In fact, <laughs> we, we read about this on the news actually, is Goodwill has this place, you basically go in there with a cart, you fill up your cart with a whole bunch of junk, and then they weigh the cart. And depending on the day, we'll determine how much it is per pound. It's typically like a dollar or less a pound. Yeah. So we can fill it up with whatever, weigh it, and... But keep in mind, this is what Goodwill doesn't sell at their normal stores. So we're not really quite sure what to expect, or if we'll find anything. Yeah. So relatively decent. It's basically the crap. <laughs> yeah. The leftover crap. One, we've never been there before. Two, it's all leftover crap. Mm -hmm. Three, it's an hour away. And four, the reviews are terrible. Can I please read a few? <laughs> if you've ever watched a documentary where they show hyenas and vultures going after animal carcasses, this is the same. Scary. If you enjoy being shoved, slapped, and stepped on for ripped jeans from Walmart, this is the joint for you. Oh, God. Need 12 pounds of broken picture frames? Or five pounds of naked one-arm Barbies? Or three pounds of high school debate club t-shirts? Oh, wow. This is the place for you. And of course, the best review that they have is a two-star, which says, I finally made it to this place. It was filthy, but I was expecting that. Mm. So this ought to be amazingly bad. That's why we're... And that is why... We have these. We have gloves. I've got my work gloves. She has her uh, exam gloves. My surgical gloves. And we are going to go out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Clarence Goodwill. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Clarence time! Clarence time! Clarence all the time! Clarence time! Clarence time! Clarence all the time! Yeah. Yes! Well, it looks like we've arrived. This, oh my gosh, it looks like the dump. Have you ever been to the dump before? I, I, I've never been to the dump, but yeah. Here you go. This place. It looks like the freaking dump. Amazing. Okay. All right, let's do this. Is this it in here? I don't know. I would assume so. You can kind of see. Look at that. It's all garbage. Full. We have arrived. The clearance center. Wow, it's busy. It's crowded, folks. We're here 30, 26 minutes after they opened. So, yeah, it's busy.
Actually, it's an unused gift card. I'm not really sure uh, where to begin here. Motorcycle crashes. Oh my god. It's you. <laughs> What's actually in there? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's clean. I'm not really sure I actually want to watch those. It looks like they're like Oh, Maroon 5, great album right there. Used to look like. Yeah. And we used to text like mad on those things. Yeah. Just saying. Found an old Motorola over here actually too. Look at that, uh -huh. an old Motorola flip. God. Nice. Rugrats Christmas. It's a three sixty game. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, that case is like messed up, yeah. Spin doctors. 
Great album. That is such a great game. I mean, I think you're right. I mean, at this point, just to get the cases. <laughs> I mean, if anything, this could be a good spot to get cases. Yeah. Just sure. like cheap. I mean, because it's by the pound, right? I mean, how much yeah. does. Or even getting manuals for games. Though. Yeah. Just look for every single DVD case or game case we can find. Also, kids, this is how we used to take our music with us. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make them all. Wait, there's no Nintendo. Oh. Pokemans, Pokemans. Mm. Dun -dun. That's not a kid's game. Mall Tycoon. These are all little kid games. Yeah. Clifford, Elmo. Aww, Reader Rabbit. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, so we just went over there and we got confirmation that how it works is that everything in here, CD, DVD, our media, minus magazines and comics is $2 a piece, unless they're empty. If the cases are empty, then they go by the pound. And basically everything here is empty. <laughs> So, it has something in it, but it's not. College hoops. So, I mean, there's nothing. It's, this is all, I mean, if you just look around, this is all clothes, yeah. basically. So, not many, uh, this is not, we have four bins here. With a Spider-Man, Spider-Man! Oh, he made an appearance, folks. Oh, Outcast, holy crap. This is such a great album. Oh. Uh, where it all started, folks. Pick that one up if you want, like old school Outcast. So we only have basically four oh, bins here. It's a Harry Potter book. Oh boy. This makes me so sad. Let's just say this is like a moviegoer's dream if you're still watching VHS. Mmm. Christmas at the fireside. Man, nice. Well, we came, we saw, we were disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was. I mean, we didn't know what we were getting into, right? Yeah. It's where good things go to die, I think. It was actually kind of sad, to be honest with you. I was looking through there and it was like a dump. It really was. It's yeah. the graveyard for all the stuff that doesn't sell and misfit toys. We found a few things. We basically decided to get the cases because it's all by weight. Yeah. So we picked up a couple 360 or what did we get? We got a DS case. I got DS case two or one 360, one Xbox and one PS2 case. Some of them have manuals in there, but we're going to, you know, take those out and I'm salvage just... the cases for broken cases that we have at home. Yeah. Uh, you found a... I found a card game called Blink that was not open, so I just decided to grab it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I like portable little card games we got. Is this a 360? Yeah, 360. Yeah. AB cable. And then uh, I saw Monster Madness Gravedigger in a GameStop used sleeve there. So we got all of this stuff mm -hmm. for a grand total of $3.87. Bad. No, not bad at all. You know, basically it's all clothes in there. People are, yeah. are piling up on clothes. So, you know, if you're in the market for that, it's pretty good. The rest, you're not going to find anything here. No. No cool electronics. No, a lot of VHS tapes. A lot of VHS tapes, magazines. Uh, yeah. Ripped books. And just a bunch of junk. Yeah. But, as always, we enjoy you hanging out with us. Sorry it wasn't more. That's kind of the thing of this thrifting series, right? Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't, and that's okay. Um, she didn't go. She didn't go. <laughs> this time she didn't go, bubs. So, all right guys, well thanks for hanging out with us. We'll talk to you later. Bye.
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's one thing we forgot. This could be our saving grace. Remember what we found very first thing we found? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. We found but a GameStop gift card and it's not scratched. I'll cover up the uh, account number, but it isn't scratched off, which means guys. Here we go. This drink is so good. First time having it. Calling the GameStop Automated Gift Card Hotline. For English, please press 1. To change your card balance, have your account number available at press 8. Please enter your account number followed by the pound key. If your number is correct, press the pound key. If your number is correct, press the pound key. If your number is correct, press the pound key. Here we go. Please enter your four digit PIN number followed by the pound key. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I am too. I mean, it could have still been swiped. Yeah. But. The pin number that you have entered is. This number is correct. Press the pound key. Please wait while we access your information. Are you your ready? card balance is ten dollars and twenty one. Oh my God! Ten, I'm going shopping. Ten twenty one. We're gonna hand that card to the GameStop employee. They're gonna be like, what the hell? Goodbye. Goodbye. So it was worth it. We got $10.21 on here. That was pretty cool. What a odd find in that bin of everything. Of junk. <laughs> it was worth it. Now don't spend it all in one place. Arvin. So, over to GameStop. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Need 12 pounds of picture frames or five pounds of naked one-armed babies? This is the place for you. This Barbie. <laughs> Babies. Oh no! Baby. I, I I'm still asleep. <laughs> That's so cute. No, let me try that one again. <laughs> oh no! Keep it in. This is gonna be an outtake. <laughs> babies. It says Barbies. I should have known. I remember reading that one. That's Sorry. why. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs>